Well, hello, Virgo, and welcome, Silky Intuitive Tarot. My name is Nancy. Uh, this is a video reading. Uh, we're focusing on the birth sign Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. The reading is called The Story of Us. It takes a look at us as a unit, a family, a partnership, a career path, the people that we work with, our friendships. Wherever this resonates with you, that's where you can apply what you can use, keep, what you can't throw away. If you'd like a video reading meant just for you and your own circumstance, you can reach out to me at the Weebly website. The link is down below. Fill out the contact form. Tell me what you want. I'll get back to you. Now, after we do the reading for the past position and the present position in Virgo's life over at my Vimeo channel. We're going to take a look at your future. If you want to go that far, you can find that video for your Sun, Moon, Rising sign. Gradually, they'll all be up at my Vimeo channel. Give it a week or so, they'll all be there. Now, let's take a look at the sign of Virgo in the past position. Your focus, past position. The Seven of Swords and the Five of Cups. For me, that tells me that possibly someone was dealing with some mental issues um, in your past. Maybe it was one of your parents who suffered from some mental unbalance or imbalance. Um, maybe someone's cruelty uh, left a scar on you, on your family. I fear, feel very much, though, the disappointments of the past, whether it was childhood a hurt uh, or an adult um, circumstance that left you scarred. Um, in the past, it was a very... focused situation for you. Uh, the hurt, the pain in your life was very much a uh, part of your day-to-day. -day. It was a regular experience for some of you. Now, let's take a look at the position that talks about your head, your thinking. On the heart position, we have the desire, or your head position. Maybe you're thinking about moving, moving away from the Seven of Cups, a situation that has left you empty, maybe confused, maybe your choices where this situation uh, weren't always clear, they weren't always the right choices. Maybe you made emotional choices when you should have been focusing more on moving forward, drive, ambition. I mean, for some of you, it could be simply this. You grew up wanting to be a doctor. And when it came down to it, you couldn't afford college, so you became a waitress. And there are regrets to the kind of close-minded thinking that left Virgo confused, wanting something better, but maybe never really knowing how to get it because of confusions and scarring from past circumstances, past abuses. That is definitely all possible here. Now, in your heart position, We've got the Ace of Cups and the Temperance card. Well, I can say that in the past, maybe even the recent past, um, maybe we're talking here about the love of your life and maybe that love of your life slipped away from you. Maybe the love of your life turned out to be... Um,
an imbalanced situation, a situation where there was maybe uh, deceit of some kind, because it feels to me that this new beginning here would have been possibly a situation that felt healthy, felt strong, but what you didn't see was what someone was doing behind your back. When you weren't looking, someone may have been deceiving you. Now, at your heart, I think that you may have really believed that this new beginning was the right chemistry, the right blend, the right circumstance at the time, but that circumstance had problems and it maybe led you to making bad choices in the body position. We have the death card and we have the four of pentacles. I think some of you may be holding on to someone who has maybe actually passed on. Maybe for Virgo, this ideal love, this beautiful chemistry here from the past. Maybe the reason that you're feeling the losses that person has either left you or they've actually passed on to the other side. Of course, we know that uh, that would have to be in the past. And so you would already be aware if this person has left the earth, uh, left their earthly bodies and gone on to be with spirit. But it feels to me that memory is still holding on. Uh, maybe the love and security that you had with this person has moved on. If they've moved on to another plane, uh, you're hanging on to their spirit. You're holding on to the part, the only part maybe you can hold on to now, which is their spirit connection. And here we talk about the spirit connection. The Nine of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. Oh boy, I think for you, what this really speaks about in your soul are the conflicts. The conflicts that maybe led to disagreements. The conflicts that maybe led you to have to put more into a relationship uh, than you had bargained for. Maybe you invested yourself in a situation and the cost was way too high. Maybe you had to put too much into a situation to make it work. And for those reasons, that's why this relationship maybe and probably is a situation from your past. I really feel that some of you have moved on to new situations, yet I still feel there's an attachment to maybe even the soul agreement between these two people, especially if that person from your past has already left the earthly plane, you're still hanging on to that person's memory. And uh, maybe it's time to let go. Maybe that's what the four of Pentacles is talking about here. Uh, maybe this is talking about having to control show control, show control. I don't think so. To me this is holding on. I still really think this is holding on emotionally to a, to a situation now. Let me tell you, those situations, when you're holding on that tightly, can cause the body 
to break down if you're not taking care of yourself. So during this time where you may be conflicted in energy over a situation that's separated from you or someone who has separated from you, take care of your body because when we're that wrapped up emotionally in sorrow, we can allow our bodies to have breakdowns. So let's not uh, do that. Let's drink lots of water, eat healthy if we're going through something that is emotionally strenuous. Pardon me. I had to take a sip of my tea and now a little bit of water. And myself, I'm going through a little bit of dehydration. It's an important message. Let's keep our bodies uh, from getting sick and dry. It's The message has been coming up in the past few readings. Okay, here we go. Virgo, let's look at your present. Focus. Look at this. The same two cards. What's at your heart is also your focus on the present day. Both cards exactly as they are here. But now what was once in your heart is now a focus point. Same message. Except this is in the present day. Maybe this energy, this chemically balanced, harmonious kind of connection from the past is rejoining your present. Um, maybe if this person had only physically left and not passed away, that energy is very much trying to come back. To come back. And for some of you, it may be a Sagittarian coming into your present day. But that focus is definitely the same as the focus from your past heart position. Now let's talk about your thinking. The head position, we have another ace. The ace of pentacles and we have the emperor. So interesting. Uh, what you're thinking is uh, maybe a new beginning on your career path, maybe mastering a study, um, getting a broader education, something that you've discovered maybe that you really love to do. It feels very much like you're suited to do this thing. So if this was a situation that you wanted maybe an accomplishment from the past. And this talks about that stagnant situation in your past. Now we're feeling it in your present. Forgive me, guys. I have sinusitis terrible. Oh, okay. We've got this new beginning and this emperor, this Aries, um, fire sign. Uh, powerful, but he talks about command. He talks about taking charge. Um, talks about control. And so you're thinking maybe you need more control over your finances. Maybe you need to take control over a situation that's maybe gone out of balance. Maybe you're realizing that the road forward towards your true desires is through more control over your security, your physical security. Now, your heart, uh, heart position, the Nine of Wands and the King of Cups. As far as love goes, I think you're feeling that you're kind of at the end of that struggle. Maybe you don't want to really have that fight anymore. 
if love feels like a struggle to you, you're wanting to take a more gentle, a kinder approach to your love life where there's been some stress, some uh, combative energy as far as a romantic situation goes. It's at the very heart of the situation. Maybe someone in the situation is worn down by health issues. And uh, you are that person's support system, possibly, or they are there for you. Maybe you've had to be there for each other if this is about um, taking command over uh, health issues in your life. Let's look at the physical. Let's look at the body. We've got the three of wands and the knight of swords physically. Some of you have grown, grown tired of the aches, the pains, the stress that your mind can put on your body, the heaviness, the damage that not sleeping can do to the body. The way it breaks down a body and some of you are honestly deciding to change your health, rebuild your body, create something strong, stronger, a physical unit that you can uh, grow and survive in easily. Because maybe you've had some health struggles and you're looking for a new way to deal with those troubles. So, Spirit is telling you to feel better. Some of you, get more rest. Take time for recreation. Take up yoga. Take up meditation. Get closer in touch with your spiritual self in order to create a more harmonious life. Uh, for some of you, this is really talking about changes, making positive changes in your mind and within your body to create a healthier self and healthier relationships. Because some of you are feeling broken down because of ill health. Some of you are feeling codependent on others due to failing health. And you're wondering what you can do to change this. Now I see these changes coming about not only for one person, but for both people. Maybe even for a family, as a family unit, these changes are going to come about. And these changes are going to bring more positive results. Uh, now let's take a look at your future, my Vimeo channel. But before we go, I want to take a look. If spirit, are there any clarifications? I have the lover, the scholar, and the constancy. Well, since this is talking to me about maybe uh, uh, one person bringing their spouse into a new physical regimen that's going to make them not only stronger in body, but stronger in mind, and they will be stronger together. As this situation changes, as this unit grows together, more physically positive, um, stronger physically, uh, they will also grow together very much, some of them, on a sexual level. Uh, sex is going to actually become a really important part of the regimen between these two people that are looking 
to improve themselves physically so they that they can experience the mental, the emotional, and the sexual changes that they're looking for as a couple. Okay, I think that's what I've got for you right now, Virgo. Good for you. Building your body so you can build your mind and your soul. It's a good plan. Okay, now I'm going to go over to my Vimeo channel and take a look at your future. Thank you, Virgo. Be well and peace.